Hey guys, I want to make a short little video on how to use the dual gauges feature in the Elantra N. I discovered this when I had my blue Elantra N and I thought it was a really cool feature, but it's definitely a little finicky and it took me a while to figure out. So I'm going to show you guys how to use it and what it does. So it's listed under dual gauges. So from your home screen, for example, you would hit end mode. And then the quickest way to get into that screen is to hit throttle. And now you have a bunch of options that pop up on the left-hand side. What's cool about dual gauges is you can add or subtract what you want um, to be shown in the end screen and you can customize it. So if I want to see just power and turbo, I can add those two to this screen. So instead of throttle, it'll show, excuse me, instead of throttle, oil temp, engine temp, I could have turbo, um, torque, power. It's pretty easy to customize. I'm pretty positive you do it through this screen, um, but I'm not talking about the customization, unfortunately. You can do that though. I'm just talking about how you, what these screens are and um, how you read them. So uh, in my car stock, I have an intake, but every now and then I'm like, you know what, I, I'm curious to see how much PSI I hit or my max torque or my max horsepower. And um, if you go in here, for example, this log, it's pretty much logs of your whole trip. So what you could do is scroll through it and you will see a graph and you will see the peaks and you will see everything else. So to do this, <laughs> you have to be driving, the stupid as it sounds, you have to be driving for 30 minutes exactly Otherwise, this graph will not automatically move forward, if that makes sense. Okay, so now for example, say I want to see my max torque during that ride I just had on the way home from work. If you look closely, you see how the graph is moving itself and it's slowly scrolling through and you see my ups and downs and the roller coaster ride of the, the torque figures here. So I'm just waiting because it's gonna go down until I went full throttle at this peak here and I'm just curious to see what my max torque is. You can't simply click that peak and be like, oh wow, 290 pound feet of torque. You have to get to a point where it's close to it in that graph and then let it autoplay and then it will get to that point for you. So I hit 287, 16 PSI. That's at about 275 uh, horsepower. So that's that's pretty average. I've seen that on the graph a handful of times. Now, for example, if I wanted to go back to that, you could zoom out on the graph, but you can't simply click where you want to go. And if you haven't been driving 30 minutes, <laughs> the graph will not autoplay. I have no idea why they set it up like this. It's quite possibly the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But if you went for a drive for 20 minutes and you scrolled back to where you wanted to see exactly what the figure was, it will not simply just start scrolling through. You'll go like this. You'll find a, a point, you'll click it, and then it'll just stay stationary and it will not move forward. It's a silly feature and I finally figured it out. You have to be driving for 30 minutes for this graph to just start scrolling down and then you'll see the figures. But it's cool, I've used it a handful of times and you will see all these different um, potential things during your trip. And it's a, pretty much a built-in logging system and I like that, I like the feature. Um, it's cool, it's helpful because sometimes when you're going full throttle and you're driving like a douche, you don't really pay attention to your gauges, you may miss what your peak torque is or your your PSI so it is cool to go back and, and see what it was but like I said you have to be at the 30 minute mark it's silly you could scroll in and out and you can move forward like this but it will not like I said it will not autoplay unless you've been driving for 30 minutes and then you scroll back and then you'll see the graph starts going by itself so I like it because obviously the peaks are typically wide open throttle and then you can see exactly 
what you got. I think this is the one I was just viewing. It was 286 pound feet. Um, I think I had 290 on the graph. But I think um, depending on the weather and the, the fuel, I think I had 18 PSI. But if you're, a lot of people are really into their logs and seeing what they got in terms of, you know, PSI or performance. And this is one easy way to do it. So I hope this helps somebody. That's how the graph works. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching.